crispy and delicious apple pie fries. I teased you guys by posting this to my story, but we are finally back from vacation so I can share the recipe. These are such a great fall dessert and they're basically like a dippable funnel cake and it only requires a few ingredients that most of you probably already have. All you need is pancake mix, applesauce, any flavor will do, and cinnamon sugar. If you don't have this, I included a recipe on screen. I used two of these single serve applesauce, which equates to about one cup of applesauce, and to this I mixed two cups of pancake batter. I stirred this until combined, and then if desired, you can add a tablespoon of cinnamon sugar in at this step. Once everything is all mixed, you can transfer this into a Ziploc bag. This is easier if you put the bag into a tall drinking glass and then transfer the batter to that. Then with scissors, snip a small corner off of your bag and these are ready to pipe. You're going to pipe your batter in fry shapes directly into hot oil for frying. I have a cast iron with about a half an inch or so of vegetable oil that I heated up over medium high heat. To check if your oil is ready, you can just drop a drop of water in it and if the water pops, then it's ready to go. By the time I was done piping my four fries, they were ready to flip. You can see around the outer edges that they're golden brown and these don't take very much time at all, about a minute or so per side. Remove your fries and drain on a paper towel and while still warm, coat them in cinnamon sugar and then these are ready to plate up and eat. Caramel would be a perfect companion for these, but I couldn't find any, so I used this honey blend syrup instead, which I just drizzled over the top of them. Like I said, these are just like eating a funnel cake, and they have a very similar taste and texture to that, except for because they're in fry shapes and they're dippable, I think kids would have a super fun time eating these. Today we're making a Starbucks inspired pumpkin loaf using five ingredients from the Dollar Tree. Starbucks doesn't ice their pumpkin loaf, but that's where I think my version is an improvement over theirs. You'll need a can of pumpkin, a box of yellow cake mix, cream cheese frosting, pumpkin pie seasoning, and eggs. Prepare a loaf pan by either greasing it with cooking spray, butter, or lining it with parchment paper. If you don't have a loaf pan, Dollar Tree sells a two-pack of aluminum loaf pans. Add your cake mix into a bowl along with three eggs, your can of pumpkin, and one tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. Mix this until it is thoroughly combined and then pour it into your prepared loaf pan. Bake your pumpkin loaf at 350 degrees for 40 to 45 minutes. Remove it from the oven and allow it to cool completely for about an hour or so before icing. I iced it lightly with cream cheese frosting and gave it a sprinkle of pumpkin pie spice on top for added aesthetic. Slice this into one inch slices and then it is ready to eat. I was so excited to see pumpkin at my Dollar Tree yesterday that I had to go home and make this immediately because I have had this recipe in my head for about a month or so now. I've been really excited to share it with you all. So go out to your Dollar Tree and see if they have pumpkin in stock. Here's how to make Taco Bell Cinnabon Delights using just three ingredients from the Dollar Tree. All you need is a tub of cream cheese frosting, a package of original Bisquick mix, and some cinnamon sugar. Transfer your cream cheese frosting into a bag with a corner cut off and pipe little dollops onto a sheet pan lined with parchment paper. Freeze this until it's solid. You don't need to worry about the shape right away. Using a knife, remove your cream cheese dollops and roll them into a ball in your hands. If they start to get too warm or too sticky, put them back in the freezer and try to keep them cold the whole time. For the batter, add your packet of Bisquick mix into a bowl along with three quarters of a cup of water. Stir this well and add in one tablespoon or so of your cinnamon sugar topping. Dip your ball of cream cheese frosting into your prepared batter and turn to coat with a fork. You're going to add this into your vegetable oil and deep fry for around 15 seconds per side or 30 seconds total. It does not need much time in the fryer at all. Just try to make sure that the entire ball is covered in batter, otherwise the icing will spill out into your oil. Drain on a paper towel and while still warm, coat in your cinnamon sugar topping and then these are ready to eat. Considering it's cream cheese frosting, batter, and cinnamon sugar, I probably don't have to tell you how delicious these are. I just have to tell you that I ate too many of them and my stomach hurts now.